Hello from YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Space Engineers. Yes, it's more ships, designs, and that's kind of what I do. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's get to the point. Now, I have a couple ships to show you this time, so we actually have two, but they do essentially the same thing. Now, let me just briefly say, you know in the Space Engineers like world settings, there's the random encounters option. Now, it probably does a bit more than what I'm about to say, but it might do just this. Um, but as far as I understood that, it basically, every so often, uh, the game will spawn in derelict and unpowered stations, ships, of all shapes and sizes, um, and they will be spawned throughout the, uh, the the space that, well, or the world of the game, and you have a chance of, or should I say, without any assistance, you'd be bloody lucky to find them. But if you do, in a survival situation, like, these things can be huge. I mean, I've seen... I've seen stations that probably rival the Solar Hope, um, which I made not long ago in terms of size. So these, you know, they they can be massive benefits in a survival situation. Now the the problem is is locating these things. These objects are so vast. Like even those giant stations I mentioned, you are gonna be. It's almost impossible, re really. Uh, to find one of these, but without any kind of means. Uh, there is actually a mod uh, that I, I, I'm i going to say is a requirement to find it. Uh, exactly which mod this is, I will be perfectly honest with you guys, but I cannot exactly remember. Uh, although, if I'm actually very quick and if I stall for time, uh, let me just, I could go to, my, uh, to the workshop. You are probably not able to see this right now, um, but I'm actually just going to have a quick look at my subscribed items list, if it would actually let me uh, go to the option uh, of mods, and it should tell me... Uh, this, yeah, here we go. Um, it's called Mid Spaces Exploration Ship Scan. Um, and essentially, if you've got a ship with a uh, an antenna uh, that belongs to you, um, so it has to have your ownership, you can just do the slash scan command, and it will sit. It will just within the you know the fifty thousand meters of, of an antenna, it will be able to tell you at least roughly speaking what the object is, if it's a station, roughly how big it is. Uh, and its distance, and I think also coordinates, but the thing is, um, I've never got that to work. How I do it is spam the scan command, travel a certain direction, and see if the distance uh, decreases. Uh, so, it's basically trial and error. I fly a little bit one direction, am I decreasing in distance from this object? I am, okay, well I'll keep going that direction. Oh, now I'm going further away from it, alter course. You know, trial and error, but that's kind of how it goes, but um, for the most part, I have actually, like, one of the two ships, I mean, I'm standing on one of them right now, but uh, one of the two ships that I'm about to show you was actually, originally speaking, one of these derelict ships, uh, which I will say one other thing is, with regards to me building ships and space engineers, I, you know, I, as you've seen a couple uh, now, I can build ships, and I don't mind building them, but what I would prefer to do is to take a ship and completely gut its insides and completely redo it. I much prefer interior design than exterior design. That's just my preference. Uh, anyway, but uh, also one thing I would recommend, um, definitely definitely have a camera if you're going to be uh, doing this because you can zoom in a long way with cameras, uh, which can make spotting the larger objects uh, that uh, that much easier. Yes, that this ship right here, actually, speaking of which, while I'm staring at it, was one of those derelict ships. I actually found this not long before I started recording this. Um, I know I'm procrastinating a lot before I even get to the actual showcase of the ships, uh, but these ships that you will find, and these stations, um, I don't know when uh, or how the game decides on what ships and stations to spawn in your world, uh, but one thing I can definitely tell you is whatever the ship or station is, they are very old. Now what I mean by that is these ships and stations, they existed before a lot of the new blocks today. Uh, they existed before the oxygen update. A lot of these stations and ships don't even have oxygen support uh, whatsoever. They don't even have airlocks half the time because, you know, there was a time in the game when you didn't have to, um, you didn't need oxygen. Um, not to mention as well, the, they will nearly always be um, ion powered. Um, and, I mean, I don't know if there's like a way to increase the amount of ships that uh, could potentially spawn, or at least what ships and so on. Um, but that's just it. Now, um, let's get to the let's actually get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. I'm, I'm, this ship I'm standing on is actually one of the smallest ones I have here. Uh, but these are essentially, especially the one with the gun on top there, uh, these two ships, ignoring that one, that was 
that is just a, like I said, the one I just found earlier on, just to prove a point that you can find some interesting stuff um, out in space. Uh, but these two ships are basically recon ships to find these derelict ships. Uh, so they will, they will primarily have uh, one antenna, uh, a camera, and that's basically it. The bigger one over there, uh, which uh, that one over there, that red one, is a modified derelict ship. Uh, I will actually show you the original one because technically I didn't build that ship. That was one I just found. Uh, but I completely, I completely gutted it for the most part and gave it a bit of an overhaul and an update into... Uh, the modern day of space engineers because we've had a lot of updates since then but uh, let's actually fly around and show you these things so this little white thing was the very first creation I made and I actually made it um, very quickly um, for the pure purpose of I would use this to find a derelict ship like the red one over here um, and do my work you know gut it out and completely redo it but um, this is definitely the cheapest of all the ships and to be honest I may as well show it off um, not not that it's terribly interesting it's just a very simple ship um, which is just got a giant antenna on it um, so you can uh, use the mod to scan things um, but yeah I this was this is what I used back then so uh, let's go inside this very simple interior but uh, yeah may as well just show you so this this ship does actually have air in it um, so you can at least take your helmet off in, uh, in theory but we may as well just let that pressurize and yeah like I said very simple so you come in up here down here down the uh, ramp here, and this is pretty much the work, the main sort of area at the back. Couple of reactors, ox oxygen production, you know, in the form of these smaller modded um, generators, a simple oxygen storage, one cargo container, air vent, uh, your gravity, couple of gyros, and the cockpit here. So, as you can see by the ship's stats, it's very lightweight. It, this thing is, you know, not quite 210, um, 210,000 kilos, yeah. Uh, so it really is not. It's a very cheap ship. You could easily build this in survival and just go around scanning. It's also very maneuverable, which I'm not. Since I'm kind of parked up here, I'm not gonna uh, fly it around. But it's pretty maneuverable because often you do, you're gonna be st like doing the whole spam the scan, but um, the scan command. Which um, I wonder if I can do it. No, because I have. I obviously had the, the ownership reset, uh, but. You can just spam the scan command constantly, and you're going to be changing course a lot, just looking for that uh, change in uh, direction and distance and whatnot. So we may as well open our way up here. Yes, this does technically depressurize this bit, but it's like I said, it's a very cheap ship. Um, but yeah, this was the whole the whole idea, like I said, was just to look for anything decent. Now you can, if the game was to lag just then. Um, so yeah, this is definitely the more survival friendly. It is actually survival ready. Um, speaking of which, if you, if people, um, if I get enough interest in these videos, which not to mention I am, I, I'm getting reasonable view numbers, uh, at least compared to like all my other videos and stuff. So uh, I will probably continue with these, um, you know, just building ships and in, in, in space engineers and showing them off. But uh, if I get enough interest with them, I might start put, putting them up on the workshop. I don't know yet because that's. Uh, well, uh, as most of you people know, I am lazy, uh, but if I suppose if I get enough requests, I might do so. Um, I would say whenever and wherever, whenever, wh whatever, um, <laughs> I actually come to put these on the workshop, then uh, the links to them will be in the description for all um, all of you guys to download. Um, like I said, ignore that ship, which I may as well actually delete because uh, there's no need for that, and apparently I've lost gravity. So anyway, let's get to the uh, bigger uh, version here. Um, this, like I said, this was not the uh, original ship. It's been um, gutted out at this point. Uh, the I believe this guy, that's actually the name of the guy who built the ship originally. Uh, and to be honest, I should just... There you go. That's the original uh, blueprint that I took. Uh, it even says it's the outdated version of the ship, which it technically is because it existed before a lot of the more modern things like oxygen and that sort of thing. So um, I'll just quickly spawn it in just so you can actually see it. And of course, it wants to spawn in upside down, but um, yeah, it's it's not terribly interesting. It, it's just, I mean, it, 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 he calls it like a, a base ship, and I suppose it would do the job. Uh, at least back when, before oxygen, you you have medical facilities, uh, fabrication, production, that sort of thing. Um, fabrication, God, I'm talking about this. <laughs> That's too much subnautica for you. Uh, so yeah, refineries, storage. You know, it, it's definitely. Uh, there we go. Um, that lag is just for space engineers. I'm actually getting a. I, I just jinxed it. I was going to say I was getting a nice solid, uh, solid 60 frames in the middle of nowhere, but um, 
yeah, those are some modded planets I was messing around with over there, if you're wondering. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's actually get to the um, showcase of this one. So this, but this ship is meant to be just a larger uh, version of the white one over there, meant to be wandering around through the universe and just scanning uh, various, you know, places, looking for these wrecks. Uh, and you can, uh, in this case, I didn't get round. I didn't have time to do this, but in the hangar here. Uh, basically would be lots and lots of very simple beacon uh, markers, basically like small ship beacons uh, with some engines to keep them stationary, because what I imagine this ship to do is perhaps to go around and just like physically mark these um, these ships and stuff, maybe get the power running on them, but then just attach one of these like just a, a simple, perhaps a tracking beacon or just a beacon, uh, whatever, but you put those on on all these wrecks, uh, either to either to like come back to it at a later date, or perhaps um, you I don't know if you had friends in high places in space engineers, uh, and, and you this is assuming there's like large scale multiplayer. I don't, uh, which is still kind of unlikely in this game, but uh, you could just mark them, and you know if you have if you have a few allies, uh, they could come in and uh, take the ship dismantle it, do whatever they want, but uh, just to physically mark it, because like ships in this game and stations, despite you know monstrous sizes that you can make uh, things in this game, uh, the vastness of, of this game, you can quite easily lose them, you know, lose <laughs> where the hell these uh, objects are, so having a beacon is certainly advisable, so, um, so yeah, that's why there's a hangar in there. There's quite a few cannons you'll see, there's even um, one of these really large ones at the top here. Now, uh, basically these weapons are purely for self-defense, because who knows? Who knows what these derelict ships you find, I mean, I, I don't think they're actually like this, but um, who's to say that the derelict ships could be, you know, hostile and just out of power? I don't think I don't think they, they actually ever are exactly, but, you know, plenty of self-defense cannons. Not to mention, what happens if someone was there before you, and you might have to uh, just either run away or negotiate from some pirates or something, so it's got probably was it's got about a dozen cannons on it there's even a little um 30 30 mil aiden at the back here i think that's what they called aiden's yeah something like that but it's even got one of those at the back so um more weapons you'd expect than just on a simple recon ship but it's purely self-defense this is not a warship uh by any stretch of the imagination so you have a control here to turn uh, to actually open the hangar door if uh, that's what you wanted to do, which I'm going to close because yeah, there is actually oxygen in there and that's another thing, I've spent ages trying to air, like, airtight this place because some of the block positions and everything uh, wouldn't allow a oxygen seal because like I said this ship is outdated considerably so getting any kind of sealed environment was quite difficult but we can still uh, go in as I've now pretty much done it. So we'll give you a very quick tour of the interior but um, from the original ship, if any of you have seen the original ship, which um, you, know, you may have, uh, it is very different inside. Like, the interior, like, even this, is pretty different. Yeah, the colours don't quite match, but I wasn't going to spend ages trying to find what colour it is. Uh, so, yeah. It's quite different internally. There, I mean, there used to be lots of stairs. I've now just put ramps and there's, like, things blocking up the sides. But uh, it was pu it's purely in the concept of air tightness, as that was quite difficult. But uh, uh, here is up in the main bridge as you can see it's definitely a li it's definitely a little bit heavier than the last um, little uh, white scout over there but um, I suppose if I if I should have actually put the camera and stuff in the hot bar and do a few other things but I suppose the only thing this ship doesn't have is a jump drive but then the the thing is with any kind of uh, derelict finder ship like this I suppose uh, you kind of don't want to jump around too much because often just traveling you know, through space and just periodically hit scan. Uh, you'll you'll pick up ships and then you want to try and, you know, plot a course to them, uh, that sort of thing. So jumping around is not particularly uh, useful in this regard. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> sorry, I just uh, that's it. Um, anyway, English English is difficult. Anyway, let's go down to the uh, bottom deck, which is arguably where there's the most amount of stuff. Uh, is located and yeah there's actually a gap there but uh, apparently that counts as being airtight in this game so I don't question it. Now down here at least below deck is definitely where the, the majority of uh, 
the stuff is in this ship. Uh, everything from the gravity to oxygen storage. Uh, there's a generator up there. Uh, air vent, couple of gyroscopes. Um, and the ship is quite light. It doesn't need that much in the ways of gyros. Uh, plenty of catwalks, another gyro there. That goes into the hangar, as you can see. Um, not that I would really recommend you put any ships in here. I mean, you could maybe be able to squeeze a personal shuttle in here if it could fit in a one block height. Uh, medical here. There's your oxygen generators I mentioned earlier. And if we pop into here, which should be pressurized, yes it is. Um, here's the very simple hangar. Let's just say this ship, like I said, this ship, I'm really stumbling over my words today, but um, as you saw, the ship is not particularly big. So let's just say underneath all these catwalks, there's like like our entire reactor source is just hidden under here. Uh, I mean, it's only like four or five blocks, well, about five, six blocks high, this ship. It's not very large, so you kind of had to work with the space that you have, but I mean, I would kind of prefer doing all the interior work, because let's just say the interior of the original ship here was just like full of like uh, refineries and like that large storage container. It was quite full in here, if you know what I mean. So, uh, let's just depressurize this whole joint. I, I mean, I probably could have done the press the whole pressurizing and depressurizing system a lot a lot better than I have done but who cares it's a cheap ship I mean if you if you can if you want an upgrade from the, the little white guy here uh, then you've got this um, other slightly larger variant at least you can um, put down multiple markers if you're not going to uh, if you're not going to be like finding these derelict ships to get in the power on and then using it to like GTFO or anything uh, you're just gonna like mark it and come back later uh, yeah, here are the antennas at the back if you're wondering. You only need one antenna uh, to scan for these ships, but uh, I don't know. They're, they're, they're simple ships, it's much smaller of a build, although, like I said, the, the red ship I didn't actually build, I just found it and modified it, but there you go. That's just something small I thought um, I thought you guys might be interested in, and, you know, if I get enough interest in, the, uh, in these ships, and if you guys actually want me to put them up on the workshop, I will uh, certainly consider it. Uh, but like I said, it's gonna. I need to uh, suss, suss out doing that. I, I, I'll be honest. I've never actually put anything up on the workshop, so I'm gonna have to fiddle far around with that to uh, get that to work. But uh, there you go. Just two very simplistic um, recon ships to find all the uh, all the derelict bits of crap in the universe. As uh, there actually is quite a lot of that uh, around here. So um, yeah, I think I'll wrap this video up here. I, I probably droned on a little bit there at the end. But I kind of want to just put you guys in the full perspective of these ships. Um, do I would say you know do expect uh, expect more space engineers in time, as I do seem to be getting some positive feedback from them. So um, they probably it won't be as regular. I would say like space engineers won't be quite as regular as my other videos, just because it does take time to build these things. Although if I do lots of these small or borderline sort of medium sized ship refits rather than building a ship from scratch then I might be able to push these kind of builds out uh, a bit quicker like this ship only took about uh, this, I don't know that red, red one take me probably combined work time of about six hours work I mean I like I said I did I put I pretty much took this ship down to pieces inside so uh, you know, it, it depends. It depends entirely on the size of the ship. So, um, anyway, yeah. I'm going to shut up here. Thank you all for watching, <laughs> despite how rambly that got. And I'll see you all in the next video.